Bad Choice Road was a heartbreaking episode. It shows us evidence of the change that occurred in the desert with Jimmy's relationship to Saul and how this change leads to the beginning of the end of Jimmy's relationship to Kim. This is Saul. We know this because throughout season five, Jimmy has emphasized when he is in the mode of being a lawyer, he is Saul Goodman. That used to mean that Jimmy would dress and act as Saul, but that is what changed in the desert. He is wearing a white shirt and he just lost to Bill. Saul does not wear white shirts and Saul does not lose to Bill. Those are two things that Jimmy does. Now we know this is Saul because he is in the mode of being a lawyer. All this means that this can only be Saul acting as Jimmy. In JMM, Jimmy and Kim's relationship reaches new depths, new depths of honesty on the part of Jimmy and new depths of vulnerability on the part of Kim. This is why Jimmy tells Kim about Lalo in the first place. And it's why Kim says to Jimmy, I don't like this. I don't want you to do it. Instead of her usual reply of okay in Bagman, when Jimmy tells her about his errand in the desert. But in Bad Choice Road, Jimmy returns to a surface level honesty with Kim. In other words, he only tells her what she can already see or what he wants her to see. It all starts when Kim says to Jimmy that she could not fathom walking all that distance in the desert alone. And Jimmy replies, yup, all alone. Jimmy could have said any of many half truths here. Like he could have said, yeah, the desert walk was brutal or any of many other things that would have been truthful statements, but still concealed that he wasn't alone. A half truth. But instead of a half truth, and Jimmy knows how to tell half truths, we'll see this in a little bit, he tells an outright lie. And so we see as soon as Kim and Jimmy are together in Bad Choice Road, that Jimmy takes the honesty that he put on the table in JMM off the table. We need to keep in mind in no way is Jimmy protecting Kim by keeping her in the dark about the details in the desert. He may be thinking that's what he's doing, but it's all too late. Jimmy already knows that he put Kim in the game. And by not telling her the details of the desert, he is increasing the potential danger that Kim is in. Most specifically, when he tells Kim, you're not in the game. She is in the game. Jimmy knows she's in the game. Jimmy put her in the game. Kim deserves to know the position that Jimmy has put her in. He thinks he can protect her, but we're going to see by the end of the episode that Kim is in the game and there's nothing Jimmy can do about it. He owes Kim the truth. But even if we give him the benefit of the doubt and say that Jimmy's fully convinced that by keeping Kim in the dark, he is protecting her. Jimmy knows that that's not what Kim wants. In Wexler versus McGill, Kim made it very clear to Jimmy that she does not want to be made the sucker. She almost ended the relationship over it. So Jimmy is very aware in this moment that no matter what he thinks he's doing, Kim never wants to be made the sucker. That's why it's hard to believe Jimmy when he tells Kim that the only thing that kept him going in the desert was the thought of her. If that were true, that would mean that Kim mattered most to Jimmy. And if Kim mattered most to Jimmy, then he would not be doing the one thing that led her to almost end their relationship. If Kim mattered most to Jimmy, he would not be making her the sucker in this situation. She made it very clear to him that's not what she wanted. If Kim mattered most to Jimmy, then what Kim wants would matter to Jimmy. And what Kim wants is the truth. To add to this, Jimmy tells Kim what matters most to him. He tells her this when she asks if now that it's over, it was all worth it. And when she asked that, Jimmy directs Kim to the bag of money. And then he says, that's what it's all about. So we see here that it is money that matters most to Jimmy because of the change that occurred in the desert. Cause we'll see in a minute that it wasn't always money 
that mattered most to Jimmy. As Jimmy says to Kim, that's what it's all about. Kim is looking through the bullet hole in the coffee mug. And she now realizes that Jimmy is not being completely honest with her. Kim sees this again the next morning when Jimmy jumps out of his seat in reaction to the blender and blames it on his stomach. It's not a hard lie to see through. But once Kim sees that Jimmy is lying, she does not confront him about it the way she did in Wexler versus McGill. And we see the change in the depths of vulnerability that Kim has brought to the relationship at this point. Instead of confronting Jimmy, Kim assures him that he doesn't have to lie to her. One, she lets him know that she sees through his lies. And two, she lets him know that she will accept him no matter what his truth is. In this moment, Kim assures Jimmy that he is what matters most to her. It's not work that matters most to Kim, and it's not her own security. Kim took a day off from work so that she could take care of Jimmy today, and she also lets him know, I don't need you to tell me the truth because of the deal of full disclosure that we made in JMM. I just want to be here for you, to listen to you without judgment, and to support you. This is when Jimmy finally offers Kim a half-truth, telling her only that, yes, there was more drama in the desert that I didn't tell you about, and it was that I had to drink my own pee. Kim still knows he's withholding truth because she saw the bullet hole in the coffee mug. It is at this moment Kim realizes that he is no longer going to offer her the depth of honesty that he did in JMM. In response to this, Kim takes the vulnerability that she offered Jimmy and JMM off the table. Kim has always felt that she needed to somewhat insulate herself from Jimmy's behavior. JMM was the first time we really saw her say, I no longer feel that I need to protect myself from your behavior. She was completely willing to accept Jimmy into her life as a full partner. But that all ends in this moment when Kim realizes that Jimmy is not going to continue to offer her the honesty that convinced her to offer the vulnerability. In this moment is the beginning of the end of Jimmy and Kim. Kim needs to be needed. This is her main motivation in life. Her need to be needed stems from her relationship with her mother. So when Kim sees that she's not needed at home by Jimmy, she heads into work. Kim heads into work only to find that she's not really needed there either. The Boulder City Council pushback that Kim felt only she could take care of was handled by Steph. There was no need for Kim Wexler's star attorney to save the day. Then Kim has a realization. She has become just another cog in the machine who helps make cogs for a different machine. Even worse, being part of this machine is keeping Kim from helping those who are truly in need. More specifically, keeping her from helping those that truly need Kim Wexler, star attorney, to save the day. Kim decides she is no longer interested in corporate success. She leaves Schweikart and Coakley and Mesa Verde. But the one thing that Kim does not leave behind is Giselle. Jimmy's response to this good news is he doesn't understand how Kim is walking away from good money. That's what he hears when Kim says, I left Schweikart and Mesa Verde. He hears, I walked away from good money. And this is very notable that this is what Jimmy hears. Instead of hearing, I have no other commitments now, Jimmy. I could be your partner. Being Kim's partner is all Jimmy wanted. The thing that stopped Jimmy and Kim from being partners in season four was Kim's job with Schweikart and Coakley. Jimmy was heartbroken when Kim told him that she took this new job and would no longer be available to be his partner. Instead of hearing, I'm free to be your partner again, all Jimmy hears is, I walked away from really good money. Jimmy doesn't hear, I'm free to be your partner because money matters most now to 
Jimmy. It didn't always matter most to Jimmy. It used to be Kim that mattered most to Jimmy. Like when Jimmy left Davis in Maine, which was really good money, at the opportunity to be partners with Kim. Jimmy basically made the same decisions that Kim is making now. He made those decisions in the past, and yet now he doesn't understand why Kim would make these decisions. This is because there's been a change in Jimmy. And as far as Kim taking her vulnerability off of the table, we get a very clear sign that that is exactly what happened in this conversation. Because as Jimmy is trying to convince Kim that she made a bad decision, she listens for a minute, but then she tells him, this, my decisions are none of your business. So we see Kim is once again protecting herself from Jimmy. She's not willing to be his full partner. What happens next is Lalo shows up. Now the first thing that we have to take from Lalo showing up is we see that any false ideas that Jimmy had that he was protecting Kim, they were false ideas. Jimmy is totally wrong when he thinks he has any chance of protecting Kim from the cartel. But the most interesting thing from this scene is in the character's positioning. The theme of this episode was relationships. And if we look at each scene, the characters are positioned in ways that demonstrate their relationship. So for instance, we see Mike and Jimmy are side by side in every scene that they're in in this episode because they're, at least for now, working together. We see Tyrus and Victor the same way. They are side by side. We also see that Tyrus and Victor finish each other's statements, kind of, because they work so hand in hand together and they also provide the same service. They, they uh, fit the same function for Gus. That is their relationship. We see when Jimmy and Lalo me uh, the first time that they are face to face, head to head. We see that when Kim is nursing Jimmy in the beginning, that she lowers herself to Jimmy's level. This is a big part of what's going on with Kim in their relationship right now. The positioning of people in this episode matters. When Lalo comes into the apartment, Jimmy stands between Lalo and Kim. He's trying to protect her. As Jimmy is standing between the two, trying to keep them separate, we see that Lalo moves and puts Kim, Jimmy, and himself into a triangle. They remain in a triangle while they're sitting down. Lalo gets back up. Jimmy tries to get between Kim and Lalo again, and then Kim stands up and puts her, Jimmy, and Lalo into another triangle. Season six is going to be a triangle of Jimmy, Kim, and Lalo. I'm not saying romantic or love triangle yet because I'm not convinced that's what it's going to be. I also can't say that it definitely won't be that. I said in season four, but I can't remember why, that I got the feeling Kim and Lalo were going to end up hooking up. And it sounded so crazy when I said it in season four. I don't even remember what video I say it in, but I said it kind of jokingly because it seems so silly. I'm still not willing to say that Kim and Lalo are going to be in a romantic relationship. So I don't know, it does seem like a long shot, but what's not a long shot, what we are going to see without a doubt is Kim, Jimmy, and Lalo involved in a, some kind of relationship triangle. Whether it's just business or a love triangle is yet to be seen. Everything that we said in this video and more will be enforced in something unforgivable. Things actually get even worse for Jimmy and Kim in something unforgivable. I will have my video on something unforgivable out probably within a week or so. And I have a couple more videos still to go on season five. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.